This is an off-grid treehouse built 50 feet off the ground. And tonight, I'm sleeping in it. Way up there. Hoo-wee. This treehouse is built completely off-grid. No running water, no electricity, no Wi-Fi. It's basically like camping, but 50 feet in the air. Did I mention I'm scared of heights? Ooh, ha. We have 62 steps until we can even get to the treehouse. I can tell it's gonna be unlike any experience I have ever had before. Let's climb. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> I'm feeling a little dizzy. This is my show, gosh darn. It's just like epic. Whoa. It's like a really big birdhouse. So how is this treehouse staying up? The farthest away tree, that's supporting the deck of the treehouse. And then this one right in front of me is supporting kind of the the back half of the tree house. And then the staircase winds around this main tree all the way up to the top. All right, up we go. <laughs> my like, legs are shaking. <laughs> oh my God. You're like at the treetop height. This is beautiful. Whoa! Oh my gosh, there's an entire glass wall. It's like a log cabin on the inside. Oh my God, look, this is one of the trees. Whoa! Oh my gosh. It's like actually in, in it. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is so much cozier than I think I was expecting but it's super bizarre to look outside and like see treetops. Tiny home perfection. Oh, I just noticed there's goal zero lights hanging up. I told you this was like camping. This is a, a, a goal zero Yeti. This treehouse is completely off grid. So that means that this Yeti, this goal zero, is the only thing that is powering any electricity in here. There's a solar panel that's actually hanging just outside the treehouse, and that is what's charging this battery pack. So rad. <gasps> Wood burning fireplace. Oh, too bad it is not gonna be cold. So I will not be using this. Okay, now this is what I may be most excited about. This glass wall here. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. I like wanna cry, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, these views. It is a misty afternoon here in North Carolina. And from up here, I can see over these treetops, this mountain in front of me, and I can just see the mist and the fog like moving through the treetops in a way that you just can't experience from the ground. Wow. Oh my God, there's a pea bucket up here. Oh, that's amazing. You may have noticed that there's no bathroom up here. The bathroom is actually that porta john down there. Ta-da! It's just a porta potty. I actually talked to my mom last night. I told her what I was doing, and she was like, "What if you have to pee in the middle of the night?" And I was like, "I don't know. I guess you just like pee over the edge." But um, there's actually a little luggable loo for pee, so that's nice. Welcome to my kitchen. Stove, propane, dish rack, pee bucket, water. Gorgeous views. <laughs> oh my god. Good vantage point. Let's scope stuff out. Legolas, <sighs> what do your elf eyes see? Over here we have our outdoor patio. So we have two chairs here and a gorgeous view of the wildlife area. I hope that you can hear this in the mics, but there's just so many birds. We're just hearing them nonstop, which is really cool. If you can tell that I'm moving a little slowly, it's because I'm still adjusting to being this high off the ground. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, tree has is shaking. Oh, oh, you feel that? A little wibble wobble. <laughs> Dude. Oh yeah, look, you can see I'm shaking the tree. Oh, oh, we get a lot of movement this direction. This is causing the entire tree house to shake. They told us this treehouse can survive 80 mile per hour winds, so I'm sure it can survive my flossing. <laughs> Moving this direction, we have our little uh, breakfast nook here. So two high chairs, the perfect place to drink a cup of coffee. 
like making a paper airplane, throwing it into the trees, going and getting it because leave no trace. Like writing a letter. What would your letter say? My letter would say, ah. <laughs> would you write it to? My belt. <laughs> <laughs> We have done our tour of the treehouse, and now it is time to bring all my stuff up here so I can have a beautiful night 50 feet off the ground in the trees. Quick pause. This is something that I wish I had known when I was at the treehouse, but better late than never. So as many of you know, I'm a huge fan of Element drink mixes. Element is the tastiest electrolyte drink mix I have ever found, and it's been really crucial for me when I'm managing my migraines, muscle cramping, and other health issues when I'm out hiking. But what I just learned is that Element actually has a whole slew of recipes that you can make with Element drink packets on their website. So I thought it'd be fun to test out one of those recipes today. We are making a non-alcoholic grapefruit Paloma. Starting with one third packet of Element grapefruit salt. Adding tonic water. Next we add ice. And then last, I'm gonna add a little squeeze of lime. Oh, that's so good. Uh, I definitely wish that I had known about this when I was up at the treehouse because this is a perfect summer camping drink. I'm gonna be trying a whole bunch of Elements recipes this summer. And if you wanna follow along with me, you can go to drinkelementy.com slash Miranda Goes Outside. And if you place an order through that link, you'll get a free sample pack of all of their flavors. Okay, back to the video. All right, these stairs are getting less scary. Come check this out. There's this awesome shelter with this enormous fire pit. I mean, this is just like the biggest fire pit I've ever seen. Um, I'm probably not gonna have a fire tonight. Wood is soaked because there was a huge rainstorm and it's just like on and off raining. But just look at this. On the inside there's this almost like wagon wheel style chandelier. And then this great big stone bench and table. Very, very cool. You know, these little lights that wind all the way around. I'm not sure if they're solar lights, or if I have to turn them on up there. I think that's super cool because when it gets dark, it's gonna be treacherous going up these stairs. Oh, bug! Bug, 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 look, look, look at it. Look how cute. Wow. Look at the bug. Welcome to my tree house. Ta-da! So I actually am just sleeping on top of the bed because they don't give you bedding here with my sleeping bag. I actually hung my toiletries on this kind of like cleaning rack. We have my hands free beer koozie. And no matter how much this treehouse sways, my beer will always stay steady. This is so cozy. We actually got a lot of rain here at the treehouse, and it is turning out to be a beautiful evening. I hung out and watched the birds a little bit before the rain started, um, read my book for a while, and now I am making my dinner. All right, I think we're ready. I'm so excited to wake up here tomorrow morning and hear the birds, like first thing in the morning. Do you ever think about how weird butt cheeks are? <laughs> I used to love tree houses when I was a kid. Like, I just thought they were so cool. My dad built my sister and I a tree house in our backyard when we were five or six years old. And it was so cool. It was just, just like awesome tree house. And I feel like when I think about it, when I like look back on my childhood, I'm like, I didn't appreciate that treehouse enough. You know what I mean? Like I didn't really like 
recognize it for what it was, which is this incredible thing that had been built for me to get to like play and be a kid and uh, just like spend time outdoors, you know? And so being in this treehouse, which is like the most epic treehouse ever, it's just really cool. I know my dad would love this. So it is about bedtime now. You can actually see that the lights that go around the staircase all turned on. They're solar lights. So as soon as it got dark, those lights just like lit up the path up to the treehouse. So I'm gonna do my last pee of the night and then get myself ready for bed and head up to my treehouse to sleep. Good morning! Oh wow, I slept so hard last night. <sighs> you can tell because there's this huge indent in my forehead. <laughs> It's about 6.30 in the morning right now, and as you can tell, the sun is completely up. It's really bright outside, and that was like the best alarm clock to wake up to. The birds, the sun. All right, let's make ourselves some coffee. Whoa. This is our coffee this morning. This is Alpine Starts Coffee Plus Creamer. Um, I tend to be a verve girl more myself, but I wanted some cream in my coffee, so we're going with Alpine Start. So one of the things that I said I wanted to do last night was sit in the little breakfast nook and read my book and drink my coffee, so we're gonna do that. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that first sip of coffee in the morning just hit so good. More so than I think I originally realized Staying up in this treehouse really does feel like it has all the challenges of camping, but with the comfort of being a house, it just makes it a little bit easier. I think if you are interested in off-grid living at all or tiny spaces like this one behind me, this is just such a cool way to get out into some of the most beautiful scenery I have ever seen in a place that is so well cared for, so well kept up, and just, I mean, really stunningly gorgeous. Coming! Good morning! <laughs> Come on in! Yeah. The view is amazing. It's like somehow better this morning because the sun is like glinting off the trees. What's so unique about being this high up in the trees is that it's not just like light comes in in the morning, it's like sky comes in in the morning and like the tops of the trees and the expanse of the mountains, like all of it was just like right there in that window. This is the perfect example of what I love most about tiny homes, which is that they allow you to have a unique experience and they encourage more time outside than inside. And this place is exactly that because it's built up in a tree. You're like seeing these incredible views. The kitchen is outside, like you have to come outside. And it's also in an area that has some of the best hiking in the country. A 10 out of 10 tiny home, a 12 out of 10 tree house for sure. Somebody once asked me <laughs> how I braid my hair without a mirror. And I was like, the key is not caring what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it takes like a full second and a half to hit the ground. Um, I have to be. <sighs> All right. So long to the treehouse. Final view, check. Goodbye, birds. Over and down. This ends my stay in the treehouse. Bye, squirrel and it was way better than anything I had expected. This video is actually the second in a series that we are calling Inside Outside USA, where I take you all to some incredible places to stay that really invite the outdoors in. And next time, I'm gonna go to a place where I can show you a cool place you can stay, as well as some of the awesome outdoor activities to do in the area. So make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you all outside. Bye. See you later. Ha <laughs> ha